Safka has asked if we can help with these cushions have been exposed to moisture and sadly they've had bad mold growth on them. Um, so it, it, you can clearly see these are the interiors of the cushions. Um, so she asked, how would you like a qu uh, quote for cleaning of the removal of furniture cushions that have been damaged by mold? The cushion cover has sewn into the cushion and we haven't been able to disinfect or wash the covers. Uh, photos of the cushion attached, uh, there are four more of this. So um, she has asked, Safka has asked, how would we deal with this problem? Well, how can she deal with this problem? And to stick true to my commitment to give you absolute true advice here as to might sometimes be even something we don't do for you, but I point you in the right place to go to get this done. Um, so Safka, with regards to the question on these cushions, we also have had some of these and happened in the past. And in some cases we can clean them. Now, if I look at the photo here, it's quite clear that the, there was some extreme damage to them. So they must have got wet and they stayed wet for a while and the mold growth has gone right into the cushion. Um, now, of course, without having the cushion in my hand, it's difficult to say, but I can clearly see from this photo that this is quite severe. And cushions is something we can get in close contact with. So I would always be super cautious to just say, you know what, let's give it a quick clean. It looks clean, but actually the mold growth is inside the cushion. And what happens is you sit on that cushion and every time you compress it, it pushes the air out of the cushion. And if there's mold spores inside that cushion, the mold spores can go into the air. And that's not good for you because you breathe it in all the time. So you might start to find you've got allergic reactions, you've got a skin rash, you feel not well, you don't know why. But what it can be is that mold that sits inside that cushion that's now dried and the spores are getting constantly compressed out of it and it gets airborne. So it's not really how, uh, good for your health. So Safka, what I would recommend you do is get in touch with a good upholsterer. Take this to them and they may be able to make your new inner. Now the inners of cushions doesn't necessarily mean it's that expensive. And that way you can still save the piece because the other thing is close to my heart is also try to make sure that we do not uh, create more waste in the environment. You know what, I'm a avid scuba diver. Me and my wife goes at least once a year, and of course the last 13 months has been the longest time since we haven't been. Uh, but it breaks my heart when we go and see all the rubbish in the sea and considering all the rubbish that goes into landfill, you know what, it always breaks my heart. So try and save the environment. And if we can save something like this, uh, you know what's another thing that don't need to go in the landfill, we can enjoy it for a few more years make it last a little bit longer. Um, so Safka, what I would recommend we do is, um, let me take you back to the screen and I've got a few numbers for you here. So um, these are the cushions and I really would say they are definitely in need of uh, a new inner and then they can look at the uh, fabric on the outside and possibly do that. So on the screen here, you'll see I've got two names for you. I've got Adrian Reed in Water Beach. He's a poster, he's a brilliant guy. We send a lot of work his way. Uh, you can get him on the Cambridge number here, 860800. Um, he's really a nice guy and he would look after you there. Otherwise, um, uh, Mantis, I've met him at some events we've been to around Cambridge. Um, and he is on Mill Road and there's his number there, 07763 243 879. And any one of those two would be able to help you with uh, creating a new inner for your cushion. And then what can happen is they can take that cover off, as you say, stitched in so we can see if that is loose, then we can either dry clean it for you through our dry cleaners at Farthings. Um, there's two branches. We've got the one in uh, Milton Road in Cambridge and we've got the one in Trumpington in Cambridge. So dry cleaning can help. Of course, if you're outside of Cambridge for Farthings, you can also go to Newmarket, Brian and James, they're lovely people. They'll, they'll be able to help you with that. Um, alternatively, we also have Mickey and Bruce and Edmonds and she would be happy to help you there as well. So, Safka, I trust that helps you. Um, you know, your health and well-being is really important to me, so it doesn't help I just tell you, listen, we can do this if I feel it's not in your best interest.